Red Feather from Grepax. In this Katie and I video, we will be showing you another way to deal with background color, or as some like to call them, black borders. Sure enough, you can utilize an effect in order to distort and resize the video. But there are a lot of people whom would prefer not to distort their images within their video. Open Katie and Live, bring in the video you would like to work with. Notice the black background in my videos, sometimes called black borders. In this video tutorial, we will use the same video twice for our Kdn Live project. So, place the video on the Kdn Live timeline. Do any necessary editing like audio removal. Once this is done in Kdn Live, go to the effects list and type zoom. Grab the pan and zoom effect placing it into the video on the timeline. In the Kdn Live Properties window, put a check mark in the distort box and do any further adjustments to gain the desired size. Once this is done in Kdn Live, go back to the effects list and type blur. Grab the Kdn Live blur effect placing it into the video on the timeline. In the Kdn Live Properties window, scroll down so as to see the blur effect. Notice the blur slider bar. In the blur effect of the Kdn Live Properties window. Adjust the slider bar to what would appear to be an acceptable blur you can adjust later one way or the other if needed. Once this is done in KDN Live, go to the project bin, grab the same video, placing it on the timeline above the video already on the timeline. There are two things to consider here. One is the amount of blur. Is it too much? or too little. If it needs to be adjusted, highlight the video on the timeline and then readjust the blur slider bar. Two, the length of the video. Once we put the distort in the one video, it made it longer than our top video. To fix this, on the Kdn Live timeline, go to the edge of the video until you see the double arrow dragging the edge in order to shorten it and match the length of the top video. This looks a lot better when you have motion such as people moving around or a highly interactive video. The rest of this video is my rendered project. I hope you have enjoyed this Katie and Live tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu 1. Thank you in advance. I am out.